All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in the Freedom Studios, and uh, I will tell you this. I'm really excited about doing this video because I'm passionate about the Second Amendment. I'm also passionate about the ability to exercise the Second Amendment. Uh, this is about the Supreme Court uh, hearing a case talking about giving the New Yorkers the ability to carry concealed, making it a shell issue versus a may issue. Now, in may issue, you have to describe to the government why it is you need a gun or you need to carry a gun, either as part of your work process or the uh, you've got somebody coming after you just going to kill you. So basically what it is, Bill de Blasio made a statement on PBS the other day talking about the decision to hear this court case by the Supreme Court, and his response was absolutely eye-opening because it really tells the tale about how the anti-gun people think. I've said this before. If you have a firearm, these anti-gun people look at you as a potential criminal or a gangbanger. They lump you into this whole group of people that you're an evil individual and they can't understand why it is that you need a firearm. Bill de Blasio, does he have security? I'm sure he does. He walks into a building. I'm sure that that building has armed guards. So it's the elitists. The elitists have this thing about you don't need a gun. Well, they're surrounded by guns. They don't have to carry a gun. They don't have to worry about a gun. They probably never owned a firearm. They probably never even fired a firearm. So what I want to do is I want to take this little video and I want to analyze it because it really tells the tale about who this guy is and who his elitist friends are. Here we go. I really fear a step in the wrong direction. I mean, we are here fighting gun violence. I got to be honest with you. If a guy sits there and his response to this decision for the Supreme Court to hear this case and his response is here we are fighting gun violence, what he doesn't understand is that <laughs> Let's just say, for instance, my good friend Baldy Curious, 1776, they live in New York, and they, they go through the process on what it takes to purchase a firearm up in New York. It's absolutely incredible. If you buy a pistol, you have to take the application to a judge. The judge has to sign off on it. I think there's like a 10-day waiting period or even as much as six, whatever the judge decides it, where it is. But the further north you go, the easier it gets because they are free, freedom-loving individuals up there. But in the, in the big city, oh, my goodness, he has a gun as they're getting hit with bowls of you-know-what. It's absolutely disgusting. But this guy, he just plumps, lumps you as a potential firearm owner as a criminal. Here we go. Uh, we need to turn the corner in 2021 uh, by working with communities, uh, to, to really turn things around. And, and what do we have in the middle of that? The Supreme Court's going to consider making it easier for people to walk around with a gun? I mean, that's just backwards and dangerous. So I heard that news and my heart sank. I mean, we have come so far to try and keep guns out of the hands of New Yorkers, particularly young people. Okay. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Without a doubt, they have come so far in keeping guns out of the hands of New Yorkers. There's nothing more anti-Second Amendment, anti-constitutional is what that jackass just said. For him to sit there and, first of all, talk about fighting gun violence, then talk about keeping firearms out of the hands of New Yorkers. It, it, it blows my millennium. I'm just sitting here thinking to myself, what a jackass. This guy is an elitist. He is a, uh, what are we talking about when we have privilege? That's privileged. And talking about keeping the hands out, keeping guns out of the hands of New Yorkers and young people. Well, as a, as a responsible parent, I'm pretty sure I can keep the firearms out of the hands of my children and keeping them from dragging them to school just by making sure that I maintain control of my firearms and my children are brought up correctly. But for a socialite like this jackass right here, lump me, a responsible gun owner, in with the rest of the criminals because that's what they do. And I'll say it and I'll say it again and again and again. You are a potential criminal as far as he is concerned. Let's finish it up. And the Supreme Court, it looks like they're working overtime to put guns right back in those hands. That, that really, really worries me. He should be worried because it's elitists like that who are scared of guns and scared of people who have a mind. He wants to be in charge of sheep. And that's what he's got. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are down below. 
This is the jackass who opposes the Second Amendment. This is a jackass who makes wants to make it impossible for you as New Yorkers to even possess and own a firearm. And here it is, out of the, <laughs> the jackass's mouth himself. Well, anyway, with that being said, guys, uh, yeah, it, it, this is the kind of stuff that fires me up. You have a right to the Second Amendment no matter where you live. And you have a right to carry that firearm no matter where you live. New Yorkers are none the safer because of the, the inability to carry a firearm. But guess this, the only people who carry firearms in the state of New York or in the city, concealed, without having it issued, are criminals. That being said, let me know what your thoughts are down below. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. And our freedom is not free. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who support our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. I'm KB32, and I am out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.